G'day guys, back with another look at Scrabble Go and going through a few turns, just explaining a few things, what we're thinking about in the, in the, uh, in things and, uh, yeah, uh, let's get onto it. Um, okay, so back into this game. I don't remember, it's been like three days since I've played one of these games. I think, did I play, did I play Rat? Oh, I think I played Jots. I think I played Jots here and I left like, uh, I think a C, an R and a T, something, something like that. I ended up picking two Ys, great, fantastic. Um, great play by my opponent, really, that's amazing. Like, obviously they've got a, a little bit of uh, Val trouble. I'm just going to have a look how many Vals we got, because in this game there's heaps of them. Look, so there's four U's, four O's, nine E's. Two A's, five I's, which is like, go away. Actually, don't go away. Um, <laughs> uh, so, it, yeah, uh, obviously, this is a really rubbish draw. Um, and I, I guess this, this is actually a really good rack as a, uh, you know, well, what do you do when you've got just absolute garbage here? Which, you know, we really have. What are your goals here? I'm already 100 ahead, right? So, margin is a factor as to what my next move will be. Um, the, um, you know, I, I look at this and go, is it almost acrylate? Something like, something like that. Now, the, uh, the, the word that I'm thinking of, let's go back to Zizavar. Um, I'm just going in pattern here, which means I can't treat. That, that, this is the word that I'm thinking of, acrylate. Um, uh, it's it's almost like and it and it's like is there like a acrylil now the reason the only the only reason I'm looking upwards in a in the pattern form for this one is because um, Scrabble it's the so this app itself will tell you whether it's right or wrong if this was like a live game I would not do this um, Aside from that, I don't know that many words with two Y's in them. I, I will tell you the the sevens I know is like acrylil. Um, I think acryl is acrylil good. Um, I, this is the word I want. Yeah, so acrylil is good. Um, it's it's not going to go down because I don't have the right letters. Um, so. Well, I think what instead I'm going to do is, um, uh, so I want to get rid of, I really want to get rid of these Y's, like the, everything else, fantastic, great. How do I capitalize on that? So we want to high score and get rid of the most crap, basically. So, um, so you might, you might think, okay, let's, what if we play, say, Cly here? Um, 25 points. Brilliant. Why not? Um, next, next one. It's, um, there's Cly in similarly, there's Cly here. 23 points. Now, why would we play either or? Um, if we thought our opponent might have this really sneaky bonus through the M, somehow, yeah, we would, we would play that. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at this, I'm going, well, this is, this is, that's probably the best things. Uh, it's almost like a tricycle. I, it's not, but it's almost, it almost is. Um, so, you know what? I'm, I'm happy just to go with that particular score. The one exception is there's this S hook here. The other exception is I'm actually blocking one of the major spots. So, um, Look, it kind of pains it pains me to do this, but I've got to do that. I want I, I really want to block this. Now I could for like no points, but remember I've got the blank. And look, if they want to open up this lovely spot for me, yeah, good on them. I'll I'll um I'll enjoy that. So we're just gonna well I'm gonna submit the turn. That's that's pretty much the, the essential move. The only better move that I could have done is if it uses two Ys and scores about the same, but it didn't. Um, going on to the next 
game where I'm I'm 120 points ahead. My opponent's just played a couple of letters off, which tells me, knowing his caliber, he's probably got something like uh, D. He might have like D at d date left on his rack, something something along those lines, where he's gone. Oh look, I can play through the T. I can play through the I. I can play through the N. So naturally, I want to block that. Um, there is a bonus here. It's Hetere. Uh, I'm not sure if I can play it. Um, it's like this. This is the word. Hetera. I know that's definitely a Greek word, and I'm pretty sure it's um, takes the E. So I'll show. I've said it before, so I'm just going to write it so you guys know. Hetere. This is the word. Hetera. So it's the and it's the uh, app, sorry the plural of this word hetere. So just that's that's just where I'm going with this. So can I play this word anywhere? No. Uh, almost. It's so close. Um, there's it. It almost goes down here. And it just doesn't quite do that. I cannot see a place to play anything. Um, I can't, I can't actually see any place to play a bonus, which is really unfortunate. Uh, alerting, so alerting. I'm, I, I play, I played this like a turn, a turn or so before. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take the S, and it doesn't. This is, this is just sort of speeding things up. Um, something in Earth, something with an aether. What I'm, what I'm eyeing out at the moment is this H spot. Unfortunately, there's no things that go in here for a nice score. That's fine. Um, I, so here, here's the thing. It's like, if I want the best kind of play I could do that sort of like seals up the board is like play here. I, I don't actually have any... I don't actually have anything that sort of goes here. It would need to be the T. It's, you can see how Hetera would have been an amazing play. Um, unfortunately, that's not correct. Uh, I'm spelling it completely wrong, and yeah, we'll go on to the next one. Um, so I'm just checking from the D if there's anything. I'm, I'm just checking from the F if there's anything. So like, it's almost like feather. There's almost a feather in there, but it's not quite it. For example, if this A was a D, I'd have feathered, which is amazing. They're at theater. These are the kind of things that we're looking at through this T. Can't quite block this. It would be nice to be able to block this T and somehow score here with the H, but in in the current state, I don't think it's right. Now, I think ETH is good. Um, this is the word I'm looking at, ETH. So this is probably best anyway. If I could get away with getting rid of another vowel, I would, but it's not possible here. This score, this literally, this is like my highest score, so I'm just going to go with it. I will, I will go Jack Jack to Zizimo, and we're going to just check whether uh, Hetera makes anything else. It did make it with a C, Trachea. I, I can't see anything here alerting. No, I can't see anything here that was... Uh, sort of standing standing out that I could actually play. There are some amazing words in here that I, you know, this is, here's Hecatara. Wouldn't know this. I literally, I do know Earth P and Heart P, even though they're sort of 10,000 probability. I know this set of letters, the, uh, where the Hor Eater Wheat Ear. I do know this set of letters, but man, uh, you, you can see now, you might be wondering, well, what, how, how are these possibly the same? And it's just really because the P and the W, there's only two of each letter, even though the P is like a really ni much nicer letter than the W. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's good. That's good for me. I didn't actually miss anything and I probably got the highest score. I mean, if, if anyone finds a better score, great, brilliant. Tell, let, let us know in the comments. Uh, now, I've got to go back to my next game. Sean, okay. I'm in trouble with the eyes here. So the initial initial thing is here, here's a here's a good eye dump. Bin it. That's fine. I don't like leaving an I and an R by themselves on the rack just because they're um 
They just don't work together very well. Um, if it was an I or a T or an I or an N, it would actually be good. So ribbit would be would be great. So the, the, the word is like literally what a frog sounds like, ribbit. Uh, but there's no other B in there. He's used the J, look, the, the couple of turns that he's done before. How do we get the, I think we get the, that's me, okay. Um, there's like a, you can do a history of your games or something. Mm, that's not what I wanted. I want like that, oh, move list, here you go. Turn history, that's it. So the move before, he played, o he played Ochre and then he played Zion. So let's have a look at that. So he played Zane here. And then he played Ochre here. This tells me he's got some nice letters. He just hasn't been able to find a bonus yet. And same thing. This tells me he picked the J and he's just gone, oh, great, I'm just going to pick it. So it means he's got like really good letters. Now, Ochre, not good. It's kind of like, if you know that it's a, um, it's a color, you might be tempted to play it. It's, yeah, it's, it's one of those letters that isn't. One of those words that isn't. Um, so, well, what, what are we? So, what, what's the basics here? You know, go back to basics. What do we want to do? Not sure what. Not sure on what we want to do. Um, in terms of, uh, if, we, if we don't know what to do, we just go back to basics. So you get rid of these two eyes in some fashion, and ideally, this would be. It's probably the blockiest thing in the rack. Almost got like Azaturia here, through this not not happening jab like can i play like something here this is this is where i'm looking at doesn't doesn't quite work similarly can i can i play ref something now the reason i'm just going to say with a resounding no is i leave three eyes on my rack and i don't want that so in i've almost got inhibit through this h um, that's, yeah, that's, that's not exactly what I want to do. So, well, what, what do I, what do I do the about, so now, now it comes down to point that there's no obvious scoring spots in there. And this is a, this is a very common, um, this is a very common experience in Scrabble. They get they get to this point. You get to this point. You you know a whole bunch of words, and then you don't know what to do. So words you may not know is like there's there's sort of for some reason that's not a word, but um, you you might be looking at sort of more complicated things and and going um well maybe maybe you can make something these look you 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 can almost score as much by just balancing your rack and. When you're in a time game, this is much more critical. What jumps out at me is that I can play something like Libri here. It, get, it achieves all of my goals. It gets rid of the B, it gets rid of the two I's, it leaves, you know, consonant, consonant, vowel, brilliant, that's not a U, and it sets us up for next turn. Um, there's, we, we could get burnt, but the way the board is, we can't really block the board. There's an out learn here. If he's got an S word, it's not happening. The one thing about our move is it doesn't take an extra S, so he, he can't play it in a way that we're not expecting. He might come back with a double double, but in this in in this scenario, you know, this this might be best, or I've completely I've completely missed something that's a lot better. Um, I'm happy with that move as it is, so I will commit it and go on. And I think we got a bonus there. All right, I know this one, it's Cam Stone, so I'm not gonna pussyfoot around. I literally saw it as it came in. Um, I can't right now, I, I was trying to think of what the anagram of Cam Stone was, and I can't remember what it is, so yeah. Comment, yay, done. <laughs> The only thing I'd be looking at in that rack is that it doesn't play onto the block right there. Next next one, Dyer's, I, I'd already seen this one, it's Diazol, so I can play it. Now I've just got to find um, uh, whether it's whether it's actually the best play. 
uh, I really want to play through this PO. So diazole is going to play here over this D, over the date, making date. If it makes an S, it's slezoid. So the two words that I'm th that I'm talking about. So diazole, and then you make an S, makes that, and then uh, the anagram is slezoid. There we go. I don't have any of that. I don't think there's anything from the B. Podalize is good, so this word, podalize. Okay, it's not good, great, fantastic. I look like an idiot. Um, uh, it's oh, it's almost, po I've almost got polarized. So if I had the R here instead of the, Z, instead of the um, O, I would, I would be able to play this amazing play. They're always fun, what we call, yeah, yeah well, those are, those are nines. They're not disco nines. I'll, I'll tell you about them one day. Um, as far as the, this is going, I can't really think of anything, if it's got anything with a Z. No, I can't think of anything. It's like, you, you need to make, with the, with the R, the reason I'm looking at the R, it's just going to score me a lot more points. Um, one of one consideration to however can I score more as a non bonus so as a Zide is definitely good I might like to get rid of uh, as Zol now so let's let's use this as a demonstration as Zol here uh, scores 74 as Zide scores 77 now, how much do you reckon Diazole scores? I'm going to say it scores either the same or less. So let's, that's, this is a great discussion. So it scores 76. Now, why wouldn't you want to play this? Well, Diazole, we know takes an S. We definitely know it takes an S. And you basically just gift your opponent. If they have any S, any blank, you're literally gifting them another 20 points. And that's massive. In, in, a, in a close game, 20 points is everything. In this case, we want to try and starve our opponent of anything, anything useful. By the way, this is a great extension for Hexa. So... I want to put the Z here. I've already figured out, is, is this the only thing? Is there anything I can see with here? No, I don't. Literally, I'm going to have to play D-E-Z. Not going to work. Do I know D-O-Z? I don't know anything. Do I know D-A-Z? I still don't know anything. So, Azol or Azide is going to be my best play. Now, Azide, we've already seen is the best play, but do I... Do I fancy playing this or leaving the L? You know what? I don't think playing the OL is any better. And this is just as good as picking up, you know, whatever comes out from playing a bonus. I'm happy with that. I'm going to, what I'm going to do after I make this move, I'm going to check if anything could have been played through the PO. As I, all right. Let's go. Anything? Nope. Uh, let's play a sub anagram. Opalized diplozoa. There was nothing in there. So if I wanted to check what can be played through that PO, I just do a pattern. I do star, PO star. And nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zipola was the best thing, probably. Because I'm trying to get rid of the. Um, I'm, tr I'm. What? Oh, okay. The podzol, I was getting confused here where the O was. Uh, yeah, so no, very few things, which explains why I didn't see any of them. Was it pozol? Pozol. So that's a, that's a nice word to know because it's, you know, uh, nice word to learn, not only because it's a nice word, because it's delicious as well. I wonder if there was anything he hooking onto ATA. So again, we in this case, we put in ATA, but we're going to end in ATA. A few things, but none of them with the Z, and definitely not scoring anything. Oh, now I've just now I've just realised. So subconsciously, maybe because I chose L, Papa can be extended into Papal. So I've got that next turn in case you know things. Would I have? Um, so let's let's just look. I would have. We so what we call is like hindsight twenty twenty. 
is that, oh, if only I had, you know, kept back the I and D, I might have got a bonus or something. You know, it wouldn't have been any better. I can see if I if I kept ID and then picked up what I did. So let's just go to anagram match. So ID, LRE. It's not improving my rack. Yeah. So I'm yep. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that, happy with that move. It was the highest scoring move on the board, hands down. Let's go to the next game where we're winning by a lot. I just played dull. What's what's she done? Didn't I just play dull? She change? She changed. Okay. I thought she was very close to a bonus. Now, if you'd paid attention to the last video, you would have known where I had played this, and I was really scared of opening up this triple triple. Um, and then it was like because of a combination of things, I thought, look, you know what? I was fine. And for some reason, she then went and blocked my own spot, my spot. So I'm happy with that. Okay, let's go with, uh, let's go from this move. So what do we have? A w. I can't use this. I can't use this because there's, there's like a P W. It's, it's like almost, uh, there, but there's no A R A. All right. So I'm gonna have to take this. And I'm going to look what's in the bag. Four E's, four O's, three A's, two U's. What do you think she changed? I will tell you, she almost 100% changed just the vowels. So the move that Jane did, the turn before mine, which was uh, all Ugg Dug, so this. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. So. Either, either she played these and just picked vowels and was like, screw this. Or she has no vowels and now she had no vowels and now changed to have vowels. So in that, I, okay. In that case, I can't actually do what I want to do, which is to starve the bag, which would be, I'd play a long, I'd play a really long word. And then, so she couldn't pick out, she couldn't go and change her letters again. All right, so what are we actually going to do? Unfortunately, a, a, not according to Stimson, Simpsons, but there's no stanky, um, despite what you guys might think. I really wish I had one of those E's right now. I'm gonna just check one, one thing as well. There is one, two, three, four scoring. So there's F, M's, two M's, and one P left as scoring tiles. The rest are what we call like bonus, we call them bread and button tiles. So it's almost 100% that she's got a bonus on her rack right now. So there's two major spots on the board where she can play her bonus. One is the S here, making dulls, and she has to make an S in there. The other one is right here through this T, and I actually think this is more likely she would find a bonus here. And it's, you know, more socially acceptable. If she has a bonus from the S, I actually want her to play it because there's so many nice tiles in the bag and I want to score off them. I want to... I'm treating this as if it was like world championship game. I want to... I want her to play the triple triple and then to me to come back. So I want her to play into the triple triple with her bonus and then for me to come back and you know, win the game. Well, I'm going to win the game anyway, but um, uh, win the game by 300 rather than the 130 I've got now. So how do I do this? Well, what's the clunkiest letters in my rack? It's W. To some extent, the L, the B and the P. In fact, I look at this and go, there's an N, R, R. You know what? I've changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to bonus. The only thing she could have changed and kept is probably the S and the blank, or maybe the E and the S, or the E and the blank. Everything else is not good. And you need like the N's, the T's, and the R's to play a bonus. And this isn't, that's not, you're not gonna play a bonus from there. So, well, what do you do here? 
I'm still gonna block this spot, but I'm gonna do it in a way that um, uh, means that if she does have some nice tiles, she has to open up some like horrible spot. It sounds really mean, but that's that's literally what's going. Um, that's that's literally how it goes. So something like swappable. Do you reckon swappable's good? I'm gonna put it through the pattern. Oop, that and just switch the pattern. It's swappable is good. Need like a disconnected A and a disconnected E somewhere. Yeah, not happening. All right. I want to get rid of the W and the B, and I think I want to leave everything else. So what do we want to do? Let's say if I gave up on this point and I thought, I'll oh, stuff it, I'm not gonna get any more bonuses. I could use my I could use my blank here. But I know there are so many E's to come. Blore. You know what? I think blore is good. That's it. I'm happy with that. Now, I could be like really sneaky and play this. It's almost good. It's only eight more points though. It, if this blocked sort of a bonus line, that would be amazing. It, um, at, as, as it stands, it doesn't really add anything. And maybe, maybe, to, maybe next turn I can play an SPO sort of word. Something like that, and um, and with that in mind, I could play like S. I could play swap, for example, or, you know, swole, S W O L E. The word, the word would be this, vugs. Put the E there, and swole, legit. But I have a much better play. Uh, Blow, brilliant. This is this is an amazing leap. It almost doesn't matter what I do. I'm, I'm in good shape. Brilliant. It's 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 like you see you see I've I got rid of the best letter. I got rid of the worst letters on my rack. I kept all the nice letters, and I knew I almost knew like unless they're like super super unlucky, I was going to have you know an amazing rack there. Um, I just want to show you guys. It might not look like I can bonus with this rack, but it's almost, I've almost got Paceyard. There's a word almost through here, Paceyard, that I can see, but there's Paceyard, I can believe you can do Paceyaring. This is the word I'm thinking of at the moment, and the reason I know this word is because I know that this word is a verb, and I can just do the transformation. Um, so next turn, I am gonna be looking at doing like this outsider bonusy stuff through this here just doesn't look like you can bonus but you know um most people aren't going to spot those things but it's like yeah i'm even going to go well can i play onto this erring so I'll, I'll think about that after the next move let's go back to the last game mm. after my cam stone great um, not a and bite. So a and bite. If I'd had this as an e, I'd have a lovely word here. Pattern a and bite. This is it. I could just play the b y off. Things like this. The reason I do this is because it makes it harder for my opponent to come back. They have to like literally play through this onto this S. They have to have the S. He's probably picked, he's probably got this lined up if I've just got to try try and stop it. Mm. Like, there are things like this you can do. It kind of stops the double double as well. Because a double double will get him like a hundred. Mm. If it can, we'll stop it. Okay. I wonder if there's a bonus here. And okay, this is gonna be embarrassing, but I might miss this bonus. If it, if, it, if it exists, I might miss it. Just the way I'm feeling at the moment. Like timbery. I think timbery is good. It's not a bonus, but I'm just uh, throw, throwing things out there. 
you know this is this is what my brain literally it's what my brain sees so timber is good um, almost urbanity if this was a U I'd have this word urbanity so I'd play it through this A not quite it's not quite celebrity uh, I don't think there's anything through the A so what, what, I'm, what am I thinking at the moment I'm literally looking I'm literally going does this M you know combine with this rack does this A combine with the rack does the S combine with the rack and, but we you know I do it you know faster than I can talk nope no nope. yeah I'm, I'm not getting any vibes out of this um ki is good so like if i had there we go there we go i'm not sure oh i'm pretty sure actually briny is good that's not bugger oh well so Bry briny i don't mind the reason for that is it block as i said it blocks this double double and that double double is pretty important if you want to come back there's a lot of things on here on, on this board um, so this is uh, it's a very open board this is a uh, um, yeah so there's there's no point in like trying to block any any spot really the only reason I'd block briny is I play briny is Ed Ash is, is probably the best score um, what, what am I actually going to play? Brighty men, brighty men, no. Barayet. Yeah, you know what? I think I have to play Briny. You might, um, some people might lament me getting rid of this, like, guaranteed bonus, but, um... I think it's fine, fine in the way it is. All right, let's go with it. I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna check immediately whether I stuffed up here. The one thing, I guess, the one thing about this, even though it was terrible, there is uh, in the previous version, in the EA version, there was those. Uh, it would suggest a move, and sometimes it would actually get it right. All right, so this was my rack. No. No, okay, brilliant. There was no words. There were no seven letter words and there were no eight letter words, brilliant. And at, at, when you're a top player, that's actually good because I didn't spend that long going, geez, I hope I'm not missing a word. So I'd gone through, you know, does it go through the C? Does it go through the S? Does it go through him? He's already played, so we're gonna play this one. Um, so those are the kind of things, you know, you, we think about. Um, Wow, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Javel, oh, I'm tempted to do this. The reason I'm tempted to do this is because uh, this ain't. If look, all credit to Sadu, he's an amazing player, and he, if the L, uh, if a word ending in L, came along, he would probably get it. Um, but it's almost like this solves my rack instantly. Is there anything else on the world? Because I picked up the J. I picked up what? The J, the V, and two L's. It just solves my rack. There's no other sort of things on, on the board that do it. And it, it just gives me the best, it just gives me the best leave. So we're gonna do that. All right, I will, I will share with you, coming up, I will share with you the damage whether he triple troubles. What will happen the exciting the excitement never ends in you know scrubble line. Oh my god, I've got Telemon. I've got Lomenta. Okay, we're good. Alright, Lomenta. Uh it's Omental, Lomenta, Telemon. Okay. Uh Lomenta. So if he doesn't play here if he doesn't play here, I still have a bonus. Lamenta is good. Okay. Blah 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 blah. 
being very bad with my letters at the moment, but yeah, there you go. Green, good. Uh, it's got two other anagrams. I will just type them out. In, I won't put them in the anagram thing. I'll put them in the front. So it's O-mental. That's one. And the other one is tell me. Does it take an S? I think it's Greek. It does take an S. So it is Greek. Brilliant. Um, yeah. So I, I literally can just play through this. And wow, I almost have exactly the same letters I did when I played Campstone. That's weird. So, yeah, bottom line is we're in really good shape here. If this had been an R, if the N, if I'd picked an R instead of the N, oh, he's done it. We're going to go with it. But if he'd picked the R instead of the N, I'd have my teller. But he, he's played it. He scored scored a lot. Oh, I'm just going to play this instantly while we're, while we're still talking. And go on to the next one. Our, no, nah, not going to get there. Telemon, I'm not even going to think about this. This is just, yeah. It's, it's basic stuff. It's like when you're in a tournament and you see it. If, if I didn't see it as a, if I didn't see the um, play onto the C, then yeah. So n now that we've gone past that move, now I'm going to look it up. So Lamenta. So, so that you can see them all together. That's brilliant. Good timing, thanks, Hedu. There you go, tell them one. Does it combine with the C? No, it doesn't. Brilliant. So I didn't see anything. That was great. There was an. It did go with the A. So for Malinate, uh, H. There's no H on the board. Hotel man. Um, Non-metal salmon salmonette and tell them ones. I actually didn't think of salmonette, and I do know it. Is it better? I don't think it is because this just just scores more. So Salmonette would have got like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventy-two. This is fourteen. Fourteen in Scrabble is a ma massive amount of score. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see what it goes. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks very much for listening, and I will see you later. Bye bye.